This is the Daily Market Comment by Rafi Boyajian. I'm Maria Pashardis. Thanks for joining us at XM.com. Equity markets are feeling the strain of war again as talks between the Russian and Ukrainian foreign ministers in Turkey on Thursday went nowhere. Hopes that the two sides might reach some kind of a ceasefire agreement had reignited some risk appetite earlier in the week, but although markets remain relatively steady, it seems that the revival has gone as far as it can for now. The longer the Russia-Ukraine conflict lasts, the more severe the impact on commodity prices will be, as well as on already pressured supply chains. The ongoing standoff between the West and Russia is heightening fears of a global recession as central banks are being forced to tighten policy at a time when there are so many economic headwinds. Shares in Europe opened mostly higher today following steep losses on Thursday. Wall Street also closed lower yesterday, but e-mini futures were only just in positive territory, suggesting sentiment remains fragile. In the currency markets, however, monetary policy divergence took over as the dominant driver following yesterday's decision by the European Central Bank and the latest inflation data out of the United States. The euro initially rose but later fell back after the ECB announced an earlier-than-expected end to its asset purchase program in Q3. Despite worries about the damage to the eurozone economy from the tough sanctions against Moscow, policymakers went ahead and pulled the plug on stimulus amid spiraling inflation across the bloc. In the U.S., meanwhile, inflation hit 7.9% year-on-year in February, giving the Fed a final nod to begin a series of rate hikes when it meets next Wednesday. Fed rate hike bets have been creeping up again this week, with Treasury yields also marching higher. Expectations that the Fed will probably outdo other central banks in this tightening cycle, along with ongoing safe haven flows, drove the U.S. dollar higher on Friday. The Japanese yen struggled the most as the Bank of Japan is now the only major central bank not tightening policy. The greenback has jumped to five-year highs against the yen, hitting the 117 yen level. Even the pound has been unable to resist the strong dollar, plumbing fresh 16-month lows below $1.31, despite a fully priced-in rate hike by the Bank of England next week and better-than-expected UK GDP data earlier today. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for joining us at XM.com.